finish because I have my cat. Okay, I am starting to train the two-year-old that is living here. Her mommy bought this right here kind of material. It's pink with pink dots. I went today and I got 100% cotton to line it with to catch the moisture. Then I have also a plastic sheeting that is really thin so that it doesn't get on the couch and stuff like that. Okay? Then I got elastic thread. I wanted elastic lace because it would have been easier for me. But I, they didn't have any. So I got elastic la uh, lace, uh, elastic thread. And according to the video I watched, they said to wind it by hand on your uh, bobbin. So I've never worked with this, but we're going to give it a try. You don't put it on your top, you just put it on in your uh, in the bobbin. That's the only place you put it. So, now, let me get things ready and we'll make us a pattern. I'm going to try to show you how to do your elastic the way they showed me on the uh, internet. What you want to do, I've already tried this, I did it the first time I messed up. Okay, I hate putting it through the hole. I'm going to tell you, I do not like putting my bobbin thread through a hole. Because <clears throat> it seems like it catches all the time. <clears throat> so, I'm trying. Uh, there we go. Now, we don't want to wind it too tight. Or we don't want to wind it too loose. Okay, now we're going to stick this in here. Push it over there. And we're going to hold this. And we're not going to pull it or anything. We're just going to let it gradually go. And we're going to spin it on there. There you go. Like that. Oh, damn it, not again. This is the thing you got to watch for. And believe you me, it's a headache. Oh, I need somebody else in here to take that off. Okay, so if we can straighten that out. Let's try this again. I think I got that on backwards. Yep, I sure do. Let's try that again. Oh, okay. <clears throat> we gotta watch not for it not to do that. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no, not again. This is the bad part about it. <clears throat> Try it again. We'll get it. I don't show you the bad parts, but by crackies, I most definitely do. Well, broke it off. Alright, I'm going to quit there. That should be enough. But, <clears throat> you see the general headache you have to go through to do this. So, now then, what we are going to do from here... As we are going to get the rest of our stuff ready, I'm going to leave this on here. I'm going to cut this thread off so that it's not in the way. So I'm we got a uh, pink for down here for the the thread itself. Okay, here we go. We got to go in here and back here and back there and put that on. Now we're ready to sew. So first, let's get busy, and let's cut out our pieces that we need, and all the other good stuff. Okay, I have me a piece of newspaper here, so we can start making our pattern. So what I did, and I'm folding them in half, and I'm going to set them right to the edge of here. 
okay now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it up about an inch see I have my paper laying on this line and then I got this inch and I'm going to put it right there now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to just draw me a line across here draw me a line across here and I'm going to go up this away with it I'm going to go this away so then here we got this so I think that this right here will work fine now we got to work on the uh, the front side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to lay them in half and this right here part right here what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it again down here like this do the same identical thing right here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a hold of my circle she is so small that it will work if you look here put the circle right there see how it just does just fine so from this corner to that corner I am going to do like that now I'm gonna get me a pair of scissors and I'm gonna cut it out okay so now I have this material so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open it up a little bit flatten her out I'm not going to worry about leveling it up at the beginning because we're making clothes that doesn't matter. But what I am going to do is I'm just going to lay this down here. I'm going to get my rotary cutter and I'm going to cut off a small piece like this. So that will give me enough to do. Then I'm gonna try to open her up here. There we go. Now then, these have to be cut on a fold. So I'm just gonna do that one all that way, and I'm gonna fold this this way, and I'm gonna place this on a fold. And I lost my pins. Okay. That's kosher. And I'm going to pin it down. And I'm going to do this to both pieces. And then when I get done cutting them out, then we'll be back. Okay. We have the stride right in here and right in here is where we need to make so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna lay this this way i want to be able to make them a little bit bigger for the stride and then the front i want it a little bit more bigger okay then we got this so i'm just going to turn this over like this and i want to keep kind of keep my curve just as much as i can i probably ought to do this on a half halfway i think that's probably about halfway there. Yeah. I think we can handle that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go like this. And then I'm going to go like this. Okay. And then like that across. It'll all be even by the time I get done. So, now I'm going to pick, take, and I'm going to find my circle again. The same one. And I'm going to take it, and I'm going to try to make a circle right in here, like that right there. Because we don't need much of a circle on where we're putting it at. Now, the thing of it is, is I want this up more. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to put it up more. Because we are going to put some cotton in it. Alright? And I'm going to shape it up. Okay, here's the back. We want to make sure it's kind of shaped up to the back. So here, what I'm talking about. So what we're going to do is 
We're going to make a line oh. right here. There we go. And I like this right here the way it is. Now we're going to go to the front and we're going to check out the front. Make sure it's pretty well much the way we want it. Do -do -do. That's the line. And we are going to fold this over this way. Right about here. So here how we're doing it. We're trying to form it to fit to it. Alright, so I'm going to cut that out and then we'll be back. I've got the, my shiny stuff out here. We're going to fold it in half enough to be able to put one of make one of these and then I'm going to draw it on because we don't want to put any holes in there that we don't need because this is to protect everything from moisture okay yeah take that off Put the lid back on that. And now I'm going to cut her out. Fold it there. Got to line it up. Okay. So here we go. Oh, keep on going all the way down the line. There we go. I don't know about you guys, but these little pieces like that, I'll hang on to them. I'll find some little use for them. Okay, I'm going to cut this out like this. And now I'm going to cut out the cotton part. So, I'll be back after that. Now that we've got our pieces, what we're going to want to do now... And I'm hoping I don't have to make any alterations, alternate, whatever, to it. But we're going to see what we have to do next. Just in case that we got things on the wrong stride. Ha, 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 sorry to speak. Okay, what we're going to do, take these and we're going to put them together. Look at there. Look at that. See, that's too big right in here. So we're going to have to try to see what we can do to even this up. And I think we need to come into here and go out. So, what I'm going to do from here is I'm find my thing and you now I think I need to do this one. Yeah, I think this one would be better. And I'm going to level this out. And as I'm doing it, I am going to slide this underneath it and lay it on top so I can make the same alternate things to it. Do the same identical thing. There we go. Let me get that straight underneath there. There we go. I think I'll take care of it. And then I'm going to go like that. Alright, now I'm going to come over here and we'll do the same thing. So as the stride will hit right. Now, I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and I'm going to give her a whiz to it. Oh, got it on slow. Let's get it up here a bit. Now then, set that aside. Don't need it. So now we have this. So, what I want to do now is I want to start lining things up. Throw that away. Open this up. We're going to lay it in here. And we're going to try to 
get it in there. Yeah, I think that'll work just fine. And here is this one. I cut it just a little bit smaller than the plastic. So, what I want to do is leave it like that. Now, here's the thing. Right here. For us to sew it. I have sharing my sewing room with a family that needs me right now. A little girl and a mother. Okay, I have these right here. We don't want to put any pins in our plastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line this back up where I want it. And I'm going to pin it like this. To hold it in place. I think these are here are the cutest little things. And they sure do work. Okay. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is take and sew down this away. And this um, up here. So I'm going to be back when I get that done. But we got this sewed down. We want to check out. And see what we need to do with this. We're going to sew it right here. But what we want to do with on this is take and sew this away, this away, and down this away. We do not want to sew right here yet. We want to sew from here all the way across this way. So what we're going to do is the same thing. Don't worry about this. We're going to trim this off so that it, de it isn't on the kit. And, and fold in these with elastic thread. So we are... I'm not going to let that child get hurt. I'm going to do my best not to. We'll level it all up do what we got to to try to make it work. I, uh, so this is a good project. Okay, I'm going to move that one because i got to have to where I can get right here in the corner. And that one, too. So we got to get that. Yeah, that one right there is fine. Yeah, that one right there was fine, too. It's those two. Okay. All right. So I'll be back. Now i got that done. I'm going to take this apart. Ah, my thread. Got to do that, too. Get that thread. Now, <clears throat> so we got plastic and all sticking up. I'm just going to take my scissors. I'm going to trim off all that I can. And get rid of it. Because we don't want this next to her little bottom. Because it would most indefinitely chap it. Okay. <clears throat> so while I do this and all. Then, I'll see you when I get back. Okay, now that I got that done, what we're going to do now is I want to take and start folding this over to make a, a hem all the way around. So I'm going to start doing that. I'm <clears throat> getting my pins out, y'all. And doing this. I want to try to get the tip. The tip that's right here, I'll make sure that I get it in here. <clears throat> yep, I need to go fold it far enough. So let's just do that bad baby again. You know, I cleaned up my sewing room for a little boy. And it ended up being for a mother and a child. Well, and two children, but the other one had to go back to its father. That was a bunch of legal stuff. And, <clears throat> but I'm, st we still, we're still doing it. We were getting along and everything. 
I, I feel sorry for the children that have to go through this. But we'll, we'll get it. God's good to us. Alright. Ah, get in there. <clears throat> now, don't expect too much out of that elastic right in here. So, I am debating because the elastic, I wasn't thinking about that, but it may not go through this bulk. That elastic. <clears throat> so, ah, yep, hey, look. What I'm about here. So, what I think I need to do is open this space up a little bit. Hey, people. I'm trying to think here. Open this space up right here. I've never done this, but I'm figuring it out. I figure it out. It might give you inspiration to start going on the whim and figuring it out stuff. Okay, let's see. We've got to do this side. We've got to have that open in there. I forgot all about that. But open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. And I am going to, so this down to it too. But I, I've got a bunch of these to make, of course, but this is my first one. And I'm only making one so I can learn off of it to do the next one. I think I might do it different than this one to learn. To learn. We're learning. If they don't work out, what to do? We'll go back at it again. Tell you the truth, this was my second try. The first one was a whole botch. And I was like, nah. I can tell them it's a botch and I know they'll believe me. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this down, right in here, so we'll have this elastic room to be able to put that elastic in there. It'll get me a little more area right here in this corner. Okay, so when I get this sewed on, then I'll be back. I think that turned out pretty good. I don't have too many complaints with sofa strings. Okay, so <clears throat> what we need to do now is we need to concentrate on doing the elastic thread. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this prepared. And I know that that right there ain't right, but we're going to do it anyway because it's just a little tiny bit. We've got, to, we've got to make sure we put the elastic in. And I'm hoping it'll grab there and work. But I'm not going to be too upset if it don't right there in that area. Because like I said, this right here is just a trial run to see what we can do. And when I get all these pinned down, I'm just going to do the one leg at a time. I get these are right here, this side ready. Then I'll be back and I'll show you how to do your sewing machine to use that thread. This is the way I wished I would have done it, because I think that it would have worked out better. So, I'm educating myself on this, and I'm letting you see what kind of a uh, unsmart person I am. But, anyway, we can see how difficult this is. Okay, we... But... We'll get it. We'll get it. I'm pretty sure we will. Ah. Uh. Ta -da 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 -da. Now 
out. So if we can start it out. But yeah, this is the way I wish I'd have done it. So that it wouldn't be so bad. But of course, this not here, I take just a little, I cut this right here too small. But, we live and we learn. So I'm going to straighten this out and then I'll put a picture. Okay, instead of showing a picture, I figured I'd go ahead and do it this way. I think that we could do it better this way. This right here would be the front, and I guess that would be the back. And I think that right there would work a whole lot better on um, doing it. I think I like that better because it puts the plastic more on the inside to where I know that it will not stick out here or here and chapper. But this is my first time, so we're going to try these out and we're going to try this one out and see how it does. But in a couple of days, I'll let you know how this one works out. Okay, so we're going to change it out, and we're going to put in the plastic, uh, the elastic, plastic, all oh, right, <laughs> all right, now this is what the girl showed, she showed that this right here come out, and let me get me a little screwdriver, should have known, should have checked it all out before I did anything, but here we go, she said this right here comes out. I'm going to try, oh we got a thing right down here, maybe this will work, and we got one right here, how's that going to lift it, I don't want to tear up my sewing machine that girl, alright let's try it without it, I don't want to tear up my sewing machine, we're going to put this in here, she said to make sure, that it goes in here, okay, and I think it went fine, okay, then you take your thread like this, you turn it with your handle, and you come up, then you grab this thread, and bring it through that the shoe thing, and bring it up. So here we have it. And she said to make sure that it goes across right here. This right here, it comes across. And I'll take a picture of that. Okay, let's see how this works out. Uh-oh, I forgot to put the top on. That ain't going to work. Okay. So here we go. I hope this works. I want it too badly. I don't want it to turn out like the last pair. Okay. And they are. Okay. So, what do I do next? Alright, I'm going to go ahead and sew these because I've already started doing it. And I'll have to go and try something different. I'm probably going to have to get out regular elastic. That's where I have to call the old man. Uh-oh. I just went off the grid there. <laughs> try this again. Well, we're keeping it real this round, aren't we? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side too, so I'll be back. I've done change the thread in my sewing machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these two together, and I'm going to pin it so I can sew them up. And this right here is the only little gathering that I got. The rest of it, no gathering. Mommy, please come and help. Okay. So, because I don't know how to do elastic thread. 
Okay, so I'm going to sew this right here up, and then I'm going to have to look for my other elastic so I can put it around the top. But I'm just going to leave these like this. Okay, this is what I'm going to do next. Since these right here don't equal up up here at the top, I'm just going to lay it down. Lever by ruler. Move the junk out of the way. And I'm just going to put a little slip right in there to kind of even them up right there in the corner. And over here in the corner. There's nine chances out of ten. My next pair has got to be better than this pair. And we are going to go on with it. And I think I might ought to entitle this What Not To Do For Underwear. Okay. So, now then, I need to find my elastic and then I'll be back. I've got the panties down to here now. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and I'm going to bring her up here. Oh, stand right there, Miss Emmy. And we're going to go around your waist like this. And... We're going to cut it off right here. And that way, we got what we need. So now you can go play. Yeah, go play. Thank you, Emmy. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, since we got that, is I'm going to go and I'm going to turn this under a little bit. And then I'm going to turn it again. And I'm going to leave enough for the elastic to go through. Okay? So, I'm going to put it all the way around. So, when I get this done and sold, as you can tell, uh, we have a lot going on in the house right now. So, I'll see you when I get this right here done. Okay, now that I got me a, what I'd call a pocket all the way around it, I'm going to take me a safety pin, I'm going to stick it in the elastic, and then I'm going to find my hoe, and I am going to feed it all the way around. So, here we go. So well, I'll be back when I get this feeded all the way around. Okay, I have this all the way around. Now, when you when you go to sew the elastic together, you want to make sure all this is flat all the way through, and the elastic is not twisted, because then that would be very uncomfortable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of stitch right down through here. Let me do that real quick. And we want to back stitch on it too. <clears throat> Alrighty. <clears throat> now I want to cut off these right here little ends. And the excess elastic. Then we want to pull them all through to get the elastic inside the pants. Yep, this is a job. Okay, now that I've got it here, I want to sew up this right here seam right here. So, I'm going to do that, and then I'll take you a picture. Well, here's the underwear, and I've tried them on Emmy. I do not want to put it on the internet with her like that. I don't think it's decent. But, if I had to change anything, I would take the plastic out, and I would not add the plastic. Because it's kind of like when she walks, you can hear the plastic. So... That's one thing I would take out. But they do look good on her. And she is very, very happy to wear them. Well, there's what to do and what not to do. So I hope you enjoyed trying just like I did.
Bye.